In this video, you will learn how to create a histogram using Plotly. Let's import Plotly. Import Plotly.express as px. Let us execute our code. Now I am going to rate one inbuilt data set and save in a variable df. I will call here px.data.tips. We are importing this data from this PX that is Plotly Express modules. Now let us execute our code. We have got the data and we have saved in this variable DF. Now let us look at the data frame. I will write here DF dot head. And this is the data frame where we have columns such as total bill, tape, sex, smoker, date, time and size. Now we are going to first create a basic histogram and let's create that I will write here figure is equal to to create histogram we have to use the function histogram from our plotly express module I will write here px then dot histogram and inside this first we have to pass the data frame name which is df I will write here df then we have to pass x parameter the variable in x and let's say we want to create histogram of the variable total underscore bill I'll write here total underscore bill and this is our continuous variable you can see we have numbers here and to print it we will write here figure dot show and in the output we will get a histogram here and here in the output you can see we got a histogram here on x-axis we have total bill which is ranging from 10 to 50 and even more and on the y-axis we have count how many times the total bill was 10 20 30 40 and 50 and here you can see that most of the time the total bill was you can say between uh, 12 to 18 dollars because here you can see we have big bars here and we are also getting the hovering that that is if I hover over this data you can see the total bill between 16 to 17.99 the count is 32 and here if you see total bill 12 to 13.99 count is 30 and as the total bill increases the count is getting less for example here the total bill was between 48 and 49 and the count was only 3 and here from 50 to 51.99 the count is only 1. So this is a basic histogram that you can create using Plotly. We can also create histogram of categorical variable and let's say from this data frame we will now use this categorical variable day. Now let's do that I'll write here figure is equal to px dot histogram then we have to pass the data frame name which is df then in the x-axis I will write here day and then figure dot show and here in the output you can see that we got a histogram of our categorical variable day and in day we have different categories such as Sunday Saturday Thursday and Friday and you can clearly see that the day Saturday is more the count is 87 for Sunday we have 76 Thursday 62 and Friday we have least count which is 19 only we can also choose number of bins so here you can see the bins are selected randomly or they are by default but we can also pass one parameter bins to control the bins size and let's check that also so for that what I'll do I'll just copy this code from here and then I will paste it in a new cell here and here after x I will put one more parameter and that parameter is going to be number of bins and here you can play around with bins let's start with 20 and see how it looks so now we have 20 bins and you can clearly see that now the histogram is looking different 
if you compare it with the earlier one this is the first one and here also we have the same variable x is equal to total bill but here the number of bins are default and as we have changed the number of bins here and we have made it 20 now this histogram looks different and if i make this 10 let's say if i make this 10 now the histogram would look even different it's not looking that much different but if i increase it let's say if i make it 50 so now you can see there is a big difference as compared to the earlier one so you can play around with this bin parameter and create a histogram of your own choice we can also create histogram on date variable plotly histogram will automatically bin date data in addition to numerical data let's make one more uh, let's let's import one more data set which is the stock data sets i'll make one variable stocks and then from px that is plotly express i will call data dot stocks and if i print this stocks dot head so here in the output you can see that we have got data for stocks such as google apple amazon facebook netflix and microsoft and we have this variable date so we can create histogram of this variable date and for that what we have to do we will make one variable figure and then we will call here px dot histogram inside this first we will pass our data frame name which is stocks and then x and now this time we are going to pass this date variable here i'll write here date and then we will update this so i will write here figure dot update so we are going to update the layout and i will write here update layout and then we will uh, we will update the gap size of bar and i will write here bar gap is going to be 0.2 so this is nothing but you see here we are having this bars here and there is some gap between this bars so we are just deciding the gap between each bar and then i will write here figure dot show and let us execute our code so here in the output you can see that we have plotted this date variable and we have got these bars here and they are separated now let's say if instead of 0.2 if i make this one you will see this bar will get closer and if i execute the code here so you can see the bars are now coming close and if i make it 0.5 so now the size of this bar is getting uh, very slim here so you can also change the gap of this bar and let's say if i make this as one so this is this is looking very very small so just let let us keep it as 0.5 and so this is how you can create histogram of date variable as well and there are different types of normalizations available we can uh, we can provide we can use the plot probability density histogram with the help of a parameter hist norm so we will see how we can use this parameter hist norm and let's say uh, we will use the same histogram from here so i'll copy this from here and i will paste it here and this time we will use one parameter which is hist norm and then here i will type what kind of distribution i want to see and i will write here probability distribution probability density and if i execute the code now you can see we got a histogram based on this probability density function so using this histogram parameter you can change this for example if you want to check what are the available dis density or distribution functions so i'll just press here shift and then tab and then here i will check so here we have so many options here and then we will look for the histonorm parameters here so if i scroll down so here you can see we have 
probability density or probability density percent let's say if i use this percent here then we will see some changes i'll write it here percent and now we will have a slightly different histogram here so you can choose different parameters value from this parameter histogram we can also create many histograms for the different values of one column that is we can use categorical data here so let me make one more histogram and this time we will use two variables here uh, we will use one parameter color and in that we will use one categorical variable so let me copy this code from here and i will paste it here and i will remove this histogram parameter now I'm going to use one more parameter which is color and let's say I'm going to use color for this I'm going to use this variable male and female the which is sex variable so I'll write it here and now let's see so here in the output you can see we got two histogram here so one is for male which is in orange color and the other one is for female which is in blue color so you can use a categorical variable along with the numerical column by using this parameter color and this way you will get two histogram with different colors or depends on the number of categories that you have in that categorical variable we can also use aggregate function like count sum average etc now let's create average tip against total bill and see how average tip increases as total bill increases so i'll write here figure and then px dot histogram i'll pass the parameter df on x we will have this total underscore bill and then on y we will have we will use this variable tip because we want to see how the tip increases as the total bill increases and then we will use here one parameter which is hist function hist func and we are going to use the aggregation average i'll write here avg and then fig dot show and let us execute our code so here in the output you will see we have on x we have this total bill and on y we will have we have this average of tip so we can clearly see that as the total bill increases from dollar 10 to dollar 50 the average tip is also increases so it is obvious that if you are eating food for let's say 50 dollars then you will pay a little more tip than compared to if you are eating food for 10 dollars so you can see here that as the total bill increases the average of tip also increases we can also create patterns in the histogram so let me uh, let me make one more histogram here i'll write here figure and then i will write here px dot histogram then i will pass this variable df on x we will use the variable sex and on y we will have this total bill variable and then we will use the color parameter color is going to be sex and then we have design so we will use this pa parameter pattern underscore shape and let's say we will try this in shape we can pass uh, any variable here let's say in this data frame we have so many variables so in uh, shape i'm going to pass this variable smoker so I'll write here smoker and let's print it fig dot show and now here in the output you can see we got a new histogram here and we have this pattern you can see we are we are having these lines in that and inside that we can see that we have this legend here this is female and low no where there are no lines and where there are lines and blue color that is females and yes so in this parameter pattern underscore shape you can use any categorical variable and you will get such a nice plot here and now let's look at the last histogram type 
that is in that we can also add text so what i will do i'll just copy one of the code let's say this one i'll copy this from here then i'll paste it here and here i will pass few parameter the first one is a number of bins i will make this just eight and then to display the text we will use the parameter text underscore auto and we are going to set this as true now let us execute our code and here in the output you can see that we are getting text in each histogram here so for example we have this total bill here and the average of tip here so here whatever you are seeing whatever numbers you are seeing here they are nothing but the average tip for example if i hover over this a number you can see total bill is between 0 to 9.9 .9 dollars and the average of tip or average tip is 1.837647 so you can also add text in your histogram and this is how you can create histogram in plotly i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching